numbers are in and in April sports betting in North Carolina surpassed $1 billion since becoming legal on March 11th. With every gamble comes risk. North Carolinians lost about $105 million last month, but there can also be significant rewards and that's why people keep playing. Fox 8 Cassie Fambro joins us in the studio. Cassie, how much money has the state earned from sports betting since launching in March? So North Carolina gets 18% of that $105 million that went to the sports books. So doing the math, North Carolina got $19 million in April. In total, North Carolina has received about $31 million from gross wagering revenue, and that's quite a haul in the first 50 days of legalized sports betting. I'd say that North Carolina has certainly exceeded expectations in terms of how sports betting has launched in the state. National sports betting journalist Robert Linehan was surprised to see the amount of money bet in April stay so close to what people wagered in March. We have to take into consideration that, you know, this is historically considered a pretty dead time uh, in the sports betting season. From March 11th to the 30th, on the heels of launching, bettors wagered about $659 million. You had the NCAA tournament. In April, it only went down slightly to $649 million. North Carolina, I mean, the the interest in sports betting is still very high. It's been very exciting for a lot of people. I know that they've been waiting for the opportunity to engage in this game, hobby, um, form of entertainment that we like to call it. Amid the popularity, there are still those concerns. Amanda Winters is North Carolina's problem gambling administrator. She's tracking the profit data as well as calls to the gambling helpline. We are anticipating and have seen increased calls because the helpline number is out there more. It's on all of the advertisements run by the operators. So while the state has seen a 77% increase in calls to the gambling helpline, you also have to account for FanDuel, DraftKings, and other operators simply sharing that number. In three to six months, we'll have a better idea, but it really could be years. It could also take a few more months of data to know how much state revenue to expect on average. You you are going to see, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't want to say a severe decrease in May, but I would not expect the numbers to in May to reach the April uh, figures. So here's where the highlights of where the state revenue goes. All list is here. Two million bucks every year goes to where Amanda Winters works at the State Department of Health and Human Services. It goes for things like gambling addiction and education. A million bucks every year goes for youth sports. 300 grand goes to 13 colleges and universities, including NCA and TUNCG and Winston-Salem State. And they can get more if the state earns a certain amount. 30% remaining proceeds goes to the state's games, events, and attractions fund, and half of the remaining proceeds go into the state general fund. Early estimates by the state were that North Carolina would earn about $64 million in its first year of legalized sports betting. And doing the math all over again, we're already almost halfway there in just 50 days. Katie? That's a lot of money, Cassie. Thank you. The